In this video I'm going to show you how to create footlocker tasks. So go to add tasks and navigate to the footlocker section. A reminder that this is only footlocker EU regions currently uh, and not CA or US regions. So check the drop down here under the site for the EU regions that are supported and each region only ships to that region so there isn't international shipping. It only ships to these select EU countries. Uh, also only non-3D cards are supported, so virtual cards uh, such as Revolut and Privacy, so you'll need to use those cards when running for Foot Locker. A reminder too, which I'll say again in a minute when we get to the profile section, but address line 2 in your billing profile must be a house number or a valid house name, and address 1 must be the street. So usually you might have put the whole address in address line 1, but for Foot Locker make sure that you've moved the number of the address into address line 2. So first select the region, I'm going to select UK, and here you can enter the URL or the variant. We usually post the uh, URL several days before the drop, so you'll be able to use the URL. I prefer to use the URL and the variant anyway, so you can just paste this in here. Uh, that gets posted to the Foot Locker Guide section in the Discord, so keep an eye on that just before the drop. Here you can choose the size, which is pretty straightforward. You can choose random if you don't mind what size you get, or you can go through the sizes here. Proxy group is pretty straightforward as well. You can select whichever proxies you prefer uh, that you've already entered into the Proxies tab. So there's now proxy groups in Sol v5, so you can uh, load your proxies in there and choose which specific group you want to use for Foot Locker here. Profile, choose whatever profile you want. You can run multiple tasks of the same profile because Foot Locker usually crashes, takes a long time and tasks don't really get through. So the more tasks the better. So it's okay if you run the profile more than once. And timer, you don't necessarily have to use a timer. You can just start the tasks at the time of the drop. But if you do know the time of the drop, uh, you can use a timer and just set it to exactly the same time as the drop. So usually they're 9 a.m. or 7 a.m. drops. Um, so you can just create the tasks here at the bottom using add task. If you want to make multiple, you can change the number before adding task and they'll be here. Uh, once you've created tasks as well, if you want more tasks that are the same, you can simply right click and duplicate the task and it will create more exactly the same as the one that you're duplicating. Uh, also, if you were to get success failure, it would be handy to be a, use the right click function and go to view task log. This will show you the whole t uh, log of the task and that will be good to show to the devs or support team if you do get failure on tasks as they'll be able to help you diagnose what the problem is. Uh, you will also be able to mass edit down here, so the main thing will probably be your delays. Um, if the site crashes or they don't drop on time, you want to up your delays, especially if you've not got many proxies. Also, if the URL that was posted was to be wrong, you can re-edit it in here and then mass apply to the tasks.